Hello everyone, it's a beautiful day for me to tell you you're doing everything wrong. Just kidding, not everything, just just 10 everyday very common things you're probably doing wrong and, and I have solutions. I love these types of videos, so we'll be all through the house today. I mean, just like very random, but again, very common, normal things. I'll be teaching better ways to do them, how to fix things, how to look better and, and feel better too. So let's get started. Okay, honestly, I don't know how to sit in this video. I feel very unladylike, like my, my zipper's wide open. It's not, it's down. But anyway, the first tip has to do with washing your face. You're doing it wrong. I was most definitely definitely doing it wrong for many, many, many years. If you have not tried makeup eraser, have you tried makeup eraser? Life changing, literal game changer. Please, please give this a try. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. So let me just tell you about it. I have in different colors. Here's pink, here's white. I have like smaller sets. I've teamed up with them for this video. Thank Thank goodness, because I, from here on out, am going to be recommending this product because it is that good. If you've not heard of Makeup Eraser, it's like this microfiber cloth, like little wipe towel, millions of fibers that literally melt off your makeup with only water. Like literally only water. You do not need to use any type of soap or face wash ever again. And it's just shocking. Like I didn't believe it was going to work and it, it melts off waterproof mascara. All of your foundation, like I'm talking like, I, I use a lot of foundation, uh, lipstick, everything with only water. And then you can use it throughout the week and then rewash it. It's machine washable and then use it, like just reuse it all the time. So not only is it amazing for the environment, um, this lasts three to five years. It's, it's just, oh my gosh, it's a game changer. It leaves your skin feeling so nice because you're not using chemicals and parabens and like all of that uh, to strip your skin. And then it does have actually kind of two sides to it. So the shorter fibers are great for taking off all of your makeup. It's like a suction cup. And then the longer fibers are great to kind of finish with. It kind of exfoliates your skin in a very gentle way and it just leaves your skin feeling so nice. So I will link them down below. I have a code with them now. It's SHEA15. You'll save 15% on your order. Please give this a try, guys. They have so many different like colors and sets. Like here's one actually I got that it's like a seven day set and they're smaller wipes. So you can use one every day for a full week. And then at the end of the week, rewash them, start over the next week. And I just love them. And I love how, you know, they have different colors and patterns and different sets. So definitely check them out. I think it'd be great for you to try. And I'm probably gonna be recommending them as gifts, like in my gift guide this year, because I think it's just such a great idea, literally for everyone. One. All right, so while we're talking about makeup, I have to move on to the next thing you might be doing wrong. I mean, again, I was doing it wrong just up until very recently, and it has to do with concealer and that weird triangle method that we're, we all just got sucked into that we're, just mark my words, we're gonna look back on photos, guys, and we're gonna laugh at ourselves. Humor me tomorrow morning, just don't do the, the triangular concealer trick where, you know, it's it's meant to really brighten our face, really make our faces pop. It has a nice ring to it. But again, it kind of just makes us, it just makes us look weird if we really look back and analyze it. So what I've been doing lately is just putting my concealer that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone um, on the outer corners of my eye. And then I ever so slightly blend and it does make my eyes pop a bit, but it's not my whole face. Humor me, give it a try. I really think you'll look better. Layering necklaces, another thing you're doing wrong. Uh, this this is a, another game changer and I'm not gonna take credit for it. I totally saw it on TikTok and just wait till you see it guys. So I'm not even wearing multiple necklaces today. I, I totally should have to show, to show you this, but don't worry, I filmed B-roll to give you a very precise tutorial on this. So if you're like me, like I love layering my jewelry and it's fun, it looks nice, it's stylish, it's annoying after five minutes, okay? Because everything gets tangled. I don't understand why, but it, it happens. I, I know I'm not the only one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put on your necklaces like normal, okay? You're gonna flip them to the back. You're going to unclasp one, or actually just unclasp them and switch which necklaces are hooked together. Like literally just do the opposite and then you can flip the necklaces back around and then suddenly they are all connected as one and you can adjust the layers to whatever your liking is and then bada boom, bada bing, nothing gets tangled. You're welcome. All right, let's just switch things up a bit. Let's move to the kitchen, which really isn't where I want to be. But this next thing you're doing wrong um, is just, it's juicing. So maybe you don't even juice. Maybe you should juice. Do you have a juicer? Probably not. They're expensive. They're so annoying to clean, but juicing is so healthy. It's like a really good way to get fruits and vegetables into your body. Uh, and, and I just have a much better solution. So try this out if you have a blender. So pull out the blender, throw in your favorite fruits and vegetables. It 
can be cucumber, zucchini, carrots. Um, you can throw in an apple to just make it taste a little bit better or whatever fruit you want. Throw in some water. You definitely need a liquid. So you can put some water, maybe some coconut water, and you're gonna blend everything together. Now, if you were to just stop and try to consume that, it would be way too thick, way too just, Ugh, it would just be bad. Uh, so you also need cheesecloth. So I will link my favorite cheesecloth down below. I just get it on Amazon. It's very, very cheap. Uh, and then you're going to just put the cheesecloth over top of like a glass container, pour in the, the blending, veggie mixture that you just made and then squeeze out all of the liquid. And it creates the most delicious, smooth, just liquidy juice that you can then drink. And it's so much easier to clean a blender and also you just kind of like dump out all of the leftover like pulp into the garbage, just rinse the cheesecloth and you can actually just lay it in this, like I kind of lay it on the back of my balcony, uh, like on the deck and the sun completely dries it, takes out the stain and I reuse it over and over and over again. Uh, and it's just such an easier way to make a healthy juice that's so good for our body and so much less cleanup. While we're in the kitchen, I'm just gonna move on to these next two things you're probably doing wrong and you're not gonna wanna hear them. I know everyone's gonna argue with me about this, but again, you do you, but I, I think this is better. So uh, it has to do with plastic storage containers and glass storage containers and why I think you should just use glass. Uh, I know glass has kind of like, you know, blown up in recent years, but if you're still stuck on plastic, please try not to put piping hot foods into the plastic containers because it's going to leach out all of the not so good chemicals in the plastic and it's just not good for your food. You're then consuming that the next day, the day after that, and it's just not good. And then moreover, I have another thing to say about that. A lot of us also then put our plastic food storage containers into the dishwasher. Mm. And then over time, like that is some of the hottest, most scalding water and we are degrading the plastic even further and then proceeding to put more food in it and it's just not good for us. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. If you still have plastic, try to let your food cool, try not to put it in the dishwasher or you could just invest in some glass containers. I'll link my favorites down below. I think they're awesome and I really just feel better about using them. All right, enough of that stuff. Let's get into more fun things, more girly things like curling your hair. I have a better way to do it. You might be doing it wrong. I've come up with this myself. Like I've, I figured this out and it, it really makes your curls last so much longer. So you can use a curling wand or a curling iron, like with a clamp, whatever, it doesn't matter. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl your hair and then leave the curl, like take the curl intact and kind of flip it over to the other side of your head and then take like a butterfly clip or whatever and clip it there and move on and really just focus on the front sections of your hair. So I'll do one section and kind of like in three to four pieces and leave them up there uh, to basically cool down. And then I release them and it makes my curls last multiple days. You can do this to your whole head. I really just focus on the front though. And I really think it's just because as the, the hair is cooling down, it's still in that curl formation and it just really sets the curl to last. Whereas if you just curl like normal, the curl kind of falls down and it's kind of extended and it just doesn't last as long. So try that out, another game changer. So go me. You also might be sleeping wrong. Like in a bad position, especially if you're a side sleeper. So try this if you're a side sleeper, maybe you're already doing it. I wasn't doing it for so many years. And then I made this slight change based on actually Josh's doctor because he has a terrible back. Um, and it just made, it's just made a big difference. So we have a natural tendency to kind of lay on our sides and curl our necks down. I'm kind of like in the fetal position. It's initially more comfortable. And I don't know, we're just like in a nice, like curled up warm position. However, it really kind of isn't a good position for our neck. It doesn't make our back aligned and our neck aligned. So all you need to do is kind of extend up your neck just to make everything straight. And it's really not uncomfortable. It's just not the initial natural tendency we all kind of have. So give this a try. If you are a side sleeper, I'm telling you, you will wake up feeling much better. You also might be cleaning wrong because goodness knows I'm cleaning wrong every day. I suck at cleaning. However, I did find this one really cool thing and it's helped me out so much. It's actually a grout cleaner, but I use it for so many things than just that. But really in our bathroom, we have a lot of grout and this, help so no more sponges, no more like washcloths. Use this thing. It's like an electric toothbrush, but a lot bigger, a lot more powerful. And it really gets up the dirt 
very fast, very efficiently, but I also use it in many other areas of my house, like in my bathroom, in my bathtub, in my kitchen. And again, it's just, it's just awesome. So I'll link it down below. It's very affordable, it's just from Amazon. Uh, but that leads me to the next thing, which is pre-treating your stains. Are you pre-treating your stains? You're probably pre-treating your stains, but you know me, I suck at cleaning. So this is something for all of you out there that just kind of take your stained clothes, whether it be your kids, your husbands, yourself, and you just throw it in the laundry. You don't wanna do that. You wanna just get like a, a pre-stained stick. They're super cheap and, and you just rub it on the stain. You throw it in the laundry basket. You don't have to do your laundry anytime soon. Let it fester in the laundry basket, work its magic. And then you wash the clothes, you do the laundry and then magically the stain is gone. Wow, awesome solution. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget about Makeup Eraser. I'll have them linked down below along with my code SHAPE15 for 15% off. I'm telling you guys, you will love this. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye.